Good morning. My name is Sister Judith Musco, Dean of Student Activities. Today we are pleased to hold commencement exercises for the Sacred Heart Academy class of 2020. First, we will hear from our fifth ranking senior, Ashley Pachaki, who will give the welcome address. Good morning and welcome. It is with great pleasure that I welcome Sister Sheila, Sister Kathleen, faculty, family, friends, and graduates to the Sacred Heart Academy Class of 2020 commencement. Four short years ago, we were incoming freshmen. For many of us, our first taste of the Sacred Heart Academy community and what it means to be a Shaw girl was the book Buyback and Swap, which is held on the last day of final exams. Seeing girls scream prices for their books and take a hold of the microphone in hopes to find a buyer was quite daunting at first, but by our first day at Cha, we would soon realize that was just a regular day. It was moments like these we took for granted, but will forever treasure. From field day freshman year to Erin Albright dressing up as Blessed Mother Clelia, the pinnacle of our time at Cha was every moment. As the class of 2020, we are the class with vision. Whether it was throwing a party after midterm sophomore year or celebrating Christmas in the middle of March for junior year spirit week, we always pulled it off. Anything we put our minds to, no matter how big or small, we could and did accomplish. August 25th, 2016 was our first time together as a class. Every moment since the start of our freshman year, our class became more and more distinct from those around us. The legacy of the class of 2020 can never again be emulated and would never be the same without all of you. As the class with vision, we changed Shaw history. Whether it was through sports titles, academic awards, or new clubs, our impact on Shaw is indelible. As we changed the Sacred Heart community, we also changed each other for the better. We are confident leaders going out into the world. No matter what lesson we take from our time at Shaw, we will all use it to make a difference. We will all make an impact in this world through either contributing to scientific breakthroughs, educating future generations, becoming political leaders, musicians, writers, or healthcare professionals. We have Shah and each other to thank for the encouragement to make our dreams a reality. I would like to thank all the faculty for mentoring us and motivating us to look towards the future. I would like to thank our parents and families for the support and encouragement over the past four years and for the sacrifices they had to make so we could be here today as the graduating class of 2020. I would personally like to thank all of you for making me who I am today. The memories we have made over the last four years is just the beginning of how our time at Cha has changed us. As the alma mater states, the strong bonds formed at SHA shall never in life be broken. The friendships we made here will last a lifetime. This is not what we expected for the last few months of our senior year, but together we can and will succeed as Shah always taught us to persevere. Something remarkable about the Sacred Heart community is the unwavering support. No matter if it was cheering on the freshmen during Spirit Week or celebrating our sports teams after liturgy, the solidarity within the community is unparalleled. I think Audrey Hepburn encapsulates this environment when she said, the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. This lesson is one Shah always taught us throughout our four years, and I think it is also one we ought to carry out into this world. As we are together for the last time as the class of 2020, remember that you are never on your own. And secondly, Sacred Heart Academy will forever be your home away from home. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, Ashley. Now our third ranking senior, Alyssa Hardaby, will lead us in the graduates' prayer. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, let us thank you for giving us this opportunity to celebrate the achievement of the class of 2020. Personally, I am so grateful and proud to be able to graduate with such a strong, resilient, and gifted group of young women. Lord, we thank you for the gifts you have given to every single one of us, which we will carry into college and into our future endeavors. We also thank you for the people we have met here at Sacred Heart Academy. 
especially our friends who have become like sisters to us throughout the last four years. The young women of the class of 2020 never hesitate to support, celebrate, and help one another. We thank you for the bond created between this class and also for those teachers who have inspired us with their passion and have supported us on our academic journeys. As we move into the next phase of our lives, allow us to remember those morals and values that were nurtured here at Sacred Heart Academy. Growing up undoubtedly involves undertaking new responsibilities and making difficult decisions. Lord, allow us to not only call ourselves Christians, but to truly act as Christians, remembering that our universal vocation is to love one another. Grant us the strength to always stand up for what's right, even when it seems difficult, and to act as Christ did by caring for our most vulnerable neighbors. Lord, guide us toward lives full of success, but more importantly, full of joy. Allow us to enjoy life's moments as they come, always remembering that the future is unpredictable, and that we must live every day to its fullest. Also, we pray that we always remember to work towards the common good, and that the world is so much bigger than just ourselves. Lastly, let us never forget how blessed we are to have received a Sacred Heart Academy education, to have met one another, and to have families who care for and support us. For this, we pray. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Blessed Clelia, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I am now pleased to introduce our second ranking senior, the salutatorian, Adeline Schomer. Good morning to Sister Sheila, Sister Kathleen, faculty, family, friends, and the class of 2020 or 2024, depending on how you're counting. I'd like to talk this morning about beginnings. In order to do so properly, the best place to start is freshman year. On the morning of Thursday, August 25th, 2016, we all walked into the brand new environment that was Sacred Heart Academy bright-eyed and pretty nervous, or at least I was, nervous enough to the point that I had to ask one of the seniors where the music room was. I was standing in the gym. Those first two days seemed impossible and terrifying as we all tried to navigate the hallways and figure out how to be a high school student, let alone an Excelsior woman. But after a few weeks, we had adapted. We learned our way around well enough that we could be good tour guides for the shadows. Though it took a little time and a lot of effort, we eventually found our way around and learned how to thrive as a class, surviving our first round of midterms, swapping out fine arts for computer apps, and even winning best costume as the cast of Up on the last day of Spirit Week. I believe that this beginning taught us that with a little time and effort, we could thrive in any situation. By the time senior year rolled around, we thought we had adapted, having watched class after class before us, scream on the first day of school, and then run the halls on the last. But just as we were getting to the end, life threw us a new beginning. We had to start again, trying to navigate online classes and figure out how to actually keep in touch with our friends. This beginning, however, was more bittersweet than the last, as we came to understand that it was the beginning of a permanent change, that we would not have a spirit week or a prom or a last day of school. We started to remember fondly the things that seemed so inconsequential at the time, like being able to sit with each other at lunch or say hi to each other in the hallways. This beginning taught us how important it is not to rush through the middle just to find a new beginning. Sometimes when we get there, all we may want to do is go back to how things were. Now we are on the brink of a third major beginning, one that is the beginning of the rest of our lives. That is a lot to think about and plan for, especially in times like these, so it might be easier to think of this beginning just as the start of college. This beginning is different from others in that it means something different for each of us. But despite the discrepancies in our future, the lessons that we have learned from our previous beginnings can guide us in our next one. We have learned that we can thrive anywhere if we invest the time and effort to do so, which is especially helpful for this beginning in which so much is unknown. Many of us will face situations in which adapting seems impossible and terrifying, but we have already done what we considered impossible and terrifying, and now we can remember it and laugh. We also know that any time can be a beginning, so we must appreciate what we have right now rather than rushing through it. We have learned that in chasing beginnings, we may fail to appreciate middles and ends. In this new beginning, we have the chance to truly appreciate every moment, no matter how small it may seem. We're now at the beginning of an end, an opportunity to remember how things have gone and hope that they can be better than they were. 
I know that all of you are well prepared for your beginnings to take the opportunities life has to offer and thrive in an uncertain world, because if anyone can do it, a Shaw girl can. It is my privilege to present to you our president, Sister Sheila O'Neill, who will speak to you and present the Sister Ursula Bongiovanni Musical Theater Award, the Sister Antonine Signorelli Excelsior Award, and the Blessed Clelia Merloni Charism Award. It's a joy for me to welcome all of you to our virtual graduation as we celebrate the amazing class of 2020. What a year. As the classic novel, A Tale of Two Cities begins, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. But somehow, we're all getting through. Class of 2020, when you left us on Thursday, March 12th, I never imagined it would be your last day on campus. But with God's grace and the help of family and friends, we continue to move forward. As I read recently in a business journal, adversity is the fuel for greatness. And you ladies showed us true greatness. You showed us true resiliency. Your class deserves many congratulations for all your accomplishments, designing winning devices with a 3D printer, solving complex multifaceted math problems, giving 150% on the field, in the pool, on the track, in the gym, on the ice, flying across the stage at the Schubert Theater, comforting the elders, the sick, and the poor, reaching out to someone having a bad day, celebrating Shah's spirit during Spirit Week, and joining in prayer and song at our liturgical events. All of these experiences have helped to define who you are today. Sacred Heart Academy is a special place where you are taught to love God, face and accept challenges, think clearly, and make a difference. We want you to take this with you as you embrace a new beginning. Bring your yearning to learn, to give back, and your love for God with you, and all will be well. As you move forward, each of you will go on to achieve greatness in uncountable ways. We know that because of you, the world of today will be a better tomorrow. Live Excelsior, ever higher, every day. You are a Shah girl, an Excelsior woman. We invite you to come back often, for this will always be your home. May the sacred heart of Jesus bless you and shower you with his many graces forever and ever. Class of 2020, we will never forget you. Congratulations, and God love you as we do. It is now my privilege to present our senior awards, named in honor of three very special apostles of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, whose lives have deeply impacted Sacred Heart Academy. One of the traditions that is celebrated each year since the Academy's founding in 1946 is our musical. When Sister Ursula Bon Giovanni, a professional vocalist in the New York area prior to entering religious life, joined the Academy faculty in 1951, she quickly set the standard, successfully combining the essential elements of music, dance, and drama for her high school students. Since 1951, Sacred Heart Academy has rightfully held the reputation of second to none in the greater New Haven area for the quality of our annual musicals. As a special tribute and token of love and gratitude for this woman, who served for 25 years as director and producer, we are pleased to present the Sister Ursula Bon Giovanni Musical Award to that senior who displays an exceptional passion for musical theater. This year, the award is presented to Megan Harkins. As president of Sacred Heart Academy, I am entrusted with being the guardian of the mission and vision of the Academy, sent forth by our founding principal, Sister Antonine Signorelli, whose dedicated leadership guided the Academy from 1946 to 1967. The recipient of this special award is recognized for her dedication and loyalty to Sacred Heart Academy and who has imbibed the spirit of Excelsior, 
committed to reaching ever higher in all aspects of her life and who values and is committed to the strong bonds formed at the Academy. It is my great honor to present the Sister Antonine Signorelli Excelsior Award to Hannah Guth. <laughs> the Blessed Clelia Merloni Charism Award is traditionally the last award given. It is given each year to that senior who in the opinion of the Sisters of the Academy consistently exemplifies the ideals of love, service, and reparation, the three hallmarks of the Apostles of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The recipient is an outstanding Christian woman and best exemplifies the charism and vision of our foundress, Blessed Clelia Merloni, and of our order. It is my great honor to present the Blessed Clelia Merloni Charism Award to Sydney Walsh. I now call to the podium our principal, Sister Kathleen Mary Coonan, to present the graduates and announce their awards. Congratulations to the Sacred Heart Academy graduating class of 2020. Christina Alexandria Aaron. Honors, Outstanding Senior in Drama, Lenore Labonia Memorial Scholarship. Jamie Lynn Elizabeth Ahern. Aaron Hope Albright. Lauren Elizabeth Anderson, 4.0 Scholar. Natalie Bakioki, High Honors. Megan Lynn Baker, Honors. Sophia Maria Baldino. Marla Sophia Berrigan. Emily Elizabeth Bernie. Alexandra Renee Bonadis, Honors. Mariah Rose Brantley. Ashanti Brianna Wright. Miranda Rose Buckite, Outstanding Senior in Instrumental Music. Jocelyn Buggy, 4.0 Scholar. Megan Rachel Cameron, 4.0 Scholar, CIAC Scholar Athlete. Marissa Irene Carboni. Emily Ann Karcha, High Honors. Christina Mary Casper, Honors, Connecticut Association of Schools, Excellence in the Arts. Outstanding Senior in Original Dramatic Composition. Alexandra Lee Chaburro, 4.0 Scholar. Alessandra Michelle Cordero, Honors. Ashley Michelle Cortez, Honors. Molly Elizabeth Kajanli, Honors. Elizabeth Marie Crosby, 4.0 Scholar. Christina Ann Crowell, 4.0 Scholar. Gabriella Marie Daglieri, Outstanding Senior in Dance Performance. Julia May Danahy, 4.0 Scholar. Sarah Marie D'Antonio. Julia Teresa Bruno Davis, Excelsior Athlete. Natalie Danielle Davis, 
4.0 Scholar. Megan Lynn Grace Delaney. Tabitha Anais Delgado. Delia Turasong Denieri. Honors. Krista Ariana Donovan. High Honors. Denise Tracy Ann Downer. Senior Class Secretary. Colleen Alexandra Doyle. Honors. Morgan Elizabeth Dubay. Senior Class President. Ovirea Betty Maria Eke. 4.0 Scholar. Gianna Marie Esposito, 4.0 Scholar. Jacqueline Ava Faggio, High Honors. Chloe Mary Falls, High Honors. Elena Margaret Farkerson. Bella Matea Figueroa. Adelaide King Formica. Samantha Rose Fraser. Alexa Rose Galicchio. Carolina Galvis, Honors. Paige Marie Gambardella, 4.0 Scholar, M3 Math Challenge Team. Samantha Erin Gilbert. Gabriella Marie Groves, Honors. Hannah Peters Guth, 4.0 Scholar. Megan Rose Harkins. Susan Silliman Hemingway VII, 4.0 Scholar. Jasmine Mariel Hernandez, Honors, Outstanding Senior in Technical Theater. Homachi Zenum Ego Amadi, High Honors. Justine Elizabeth Junga, 4.0 Scholar, Outstanding Senior in Visual Arts, Connecticut Association of Schools Excellence in the Arts. Bianca Patricia May Cave. Honors, Outstanding Senior in Spanish. Jenna Luis Kennedy, 4.0 Scholar, M3 Math Challenge Team. Kayun Kim, Honors, Senior Class Vice President. Allison Julia Kirk. Molly Rose Clarman. Kiara Margaret Klein. High honors. Hannah Marie Korn. Mariana. Kordorsky, Honors. Laurel Elise Grober, High Honors. Isabel Esther Lamour, High Honors. Elizabeth Ermelinda Landolfi. Leslie Jacqueline Lara Gator. Nina Elizabeth Longobardi. Lady Laura Lopez Cantora. 
Annie Catherine Mackey, 4.0 Scholar, Student Council President. Jennifer Gansel Madhu, 4.0 Scholar. Jillian Marguerite Manning, 4.0 Scholar. Ava Gray Maselli, 4.0 Scholar. Isabella Irene Mazuko, Honors. Abigail Lee McDonald. Outstanding Senior in Business, Brooke McKenna McNabola, Honors, Brisa Nadizda Mendoza, 4.0 Scholar, M3 Math Challenge Team, Brittany Leslie Menaces, High Honors. Jessica Ashley Mesidor. McKenna Lee Mishad, 4.0 Scholar. Juliana Christina Melidantri, 4.0 Scholar. Outstanding Senior in French. Sapphire Natalia Moore, High Honors. Bailey Nicole Moran, High Honors. Rebecca Ludette May Allego Mosquito. 4.0 Scholar, Jillian H. Murray, Honors, Outstanding Senior in Creative Writing, Abby Elizabeth Nonowitz, 4.0 Scholar, Claire Chunfu O'Neill, 4.0 Scholar. Maria Madalena Pagliaro, 4.0 Scholar. Abby Mary Parenti, 4.0 Scholar. Sydney Elizabeth Peters, Honors. Christina Elizabeth Piancos, 4.0 Scholar, Student Council Vice President, Outstanding Senior in Chinese, Outstanding Senior in Theology. Catherine Ray Reynolds, Michelle Ann Rhodes, Honors, Emma Louise Romanello, 4.0 Scholar. Mia Lee Sandillo. Morgan Paige Stavisky, Honors. Sloan Elizabeth Summerfield. Ming Yang. 4.0 Scholar, M3 Math Challenge Team. Delilah Foley Tuttle, High Honors. Sophia Lynn Vendetto. Sherlyn Vendome, Honors. Sydney Jane Walsh, 4.0 Scholar, Senior Class Treasurer, SCC Scholar Leader. 
Monet, Dion, Ray, Pi Honors. Now on to our top five seniors. Fifth in the class, Ashley Lauren Plachucky, 4.0 scholar. Fourth in the class, Allison Pierce McGowan Rogier, 4.0 scholar, outstanding senior in English, M3 math challenge team. Third in the class, Alyssa Joan Hardaby, 4.0 scholar, national merit commended student, outstanding senior in social studies, Excelsior athlete. Salutatorian, Adeline Grace Schomer, 4.0 scholar, National Merit Commended Student, Outstanding Senior in Latin, Outstanding Senior in Science, M3 Math Challenge Team, SCC Scholar Leader. Valedictorian, Maria Theodora Papadimitris, 4.0 Scholar, National Merit Scholarship winner, Outstanding Senior in Math, New England Math League and American Scholastic Math Top Scorer, M3 Math Challenge Team, Outstanding Senior in Vocal Music, Sister Mary Jane Paolella Senior Research Award. I am honored to introduce to you our top-ranking senior, the valedictorian, Maria Papadimitris. Good morning, Sister Sheila, Sister Kathleen, parents and family, faculty and staff, and my fellow graduates of the class of 2020. It has been said that to make this kind of address effective, one must offer either wisdom or humor. Unfortunately for me, neither wisdom nor humor is a realistic option here. I am an 18-year-old high school graduate, so I can't try to offer wisdom without sounding ridiculous. Humor is off the table as well, as these four years have taught me that I'm not nearly as funny as I think I am. All that is left for me, it seems, is to reflect on some of the qualities that have underpinned high school and will carry us through college. Mrs. Gnidek always taught us to focus on grit, the relentless drive to learn from our mistakes and power through even the toughest concepts, the most challenging classes, the most daunting hardships. I am not here to talk about grit, though. It is important to power through, yes, but you cannot just keep going when math problems, gym projects, or lunch table fights have pushed you down. There is a key step in the middle, related to grit, but distinct from it, resilience, mentally and emotionally bouncing back, picking yourself up, and getting ready to take on the next challenge. Resilience is essential to everything we do, but it is not something that we create for ourselves. Our resilience, which makes living possible, is an invaluable lesson from our families, from our teachers, from our classmates and friends, and from Shaw itself. First, to our parents and families, who have loved us, funded us, and picked us up whenever we fell or had to be at school until five. Without you, we could not be at Shaw, let alone graduating today. I know sometimes we, are re we act like we are ready to move on, to walk out the door without a backward glance, but we wouldn't even have that option if you had not taught us so much and so patiently, and we love you for it, even when it seems like we can't wait to get out of the house. Next, to our phenomenal teachers, coaches, and counselors who have helped us develop resilience by challenging us and then showing us how to recover when we fail. I'd like to thank Ms. M for inspiring us with your perseverance, scheduling rehearsals during break and in the mornings when we couldn't find time after school. Thank you to Ms. D for giving us pop quiz after pop quiz until we understood that one bad assessment was not the end of the world, even if my heart rate still doubles whenever someone tells me to take out a piece of loose leaf. Thank you to Mrs. Alexander for keeping us sane through the wild ups and downs of college admissions and for trying to convince me to get a life so that I could find resilience in a non-academic area. And that is just to name a few. I'd have to stand here for hours to thank every teacher who has taught us resilience, who has helped us become students who can thrive in college. 
You all know how much we owe to our teachers. We must continue to thank them, both in person and by demonstrating in our college lives that we have internalized their lessons. And to you, my classmates, my friends, there is so much I could say in thanks, so much I have learned from each of you that has helped me become the person I am, that has helped me develop resilience. I won't single anyone out here, but from you I have learned to keep success from going to my head, to prevent failure from destroying me, to cope with a ridiculous amount of homework, and, when necessary, to finesse, to move on from a mistake as though nothing has happened. Without resilience, we could never recover from setbacks. We could not have graduated high school. We could not survive college. We could not live without a hand on the railing, let alone live Excelsior. It is now time to say goodbye to one another, to our teachers, and to the wonderful, crazy, irreplaceable high school that has brought us together. As we go, we must continue to take every opportunity to, to develop and exercise resilience so that we can absorb whatever life throws at us and even enjoy the ride. And as we take this next step, let us always remember to appreciate and thank the people who have taught us how to live, who continue to inspire us with their own lives, and to make ours worth living. So thank you, and goodbye. Thank you, Maria. I now ask Alison Rozier, our fourth ranking senior, to lead us in the closing prayer. During the course of the past four years, we have come together in prayer countless times. We have had moments of collective gratitude, moments of longing for a better world, and moments of motivation that have allowed us to act with clear intentions moving forward. Though circumstances might have separated us, how fitting it is that we have the opportunity to end our time at Shaw with one last moment of prayer together, just like the ones that have helped us grow so much as the class of 2020. Together with the graduates in the Greater Shaw community, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us take a moment of gratitude now for the beautiful graduation ceremony that we witnessed today. May the spirit of this event push us forward into our future, and as we head our separate ways, let us not forget the lessons that we have learned and the bonds we have formed during our time together. God, remind us to reflect on it often, to discern where you have touched our lives, and to carry these moments with us wherever we may need it. Let us never forget our strength as a community and as individuals and inspire us to impact the world in loving ways. Let us find peace and solace within you when presented with unplanned or unsavory scenarios as we, have, as we have had to do recently. And finally, guide us, the class of 2020, with your full grace and mercy towards becoming our best selves. For the last time together, let us look outwards from our small community towards the greater Shaw community and the world around us. We pray now for the well-being in all meanings of the word, for everyone facing hardship. Let each one of us, graduates, strive to be part of the solutions that will raise up our neighbors. Let us pray for everyone who made our educations possible, from administrators to staff to faculty to parents and to alumni. And let us keep others in our prayers going forward with this amazing foundation we have been given at Shaw. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Blessed Clelia, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, and congratulations, everyone. It is our privilege to present to you the Sacred Heart Academy Class of 2020.
If you're feeling down or weak, you can always count on me. I will always pick you up. Nothing's ever gonna change. Nothing's getting in my way. I will always hold you up. Anything, come what may, don't look back. Forget yesterday. Forget yesterday. It's not where you come from. It's where you belong. Nothing I would trade. Find your place in it all, but you don't have to fear. Even when you mess up, you always got. 